Hey guys, Stephen Phillips here, back in the garage. Today we're looking at Laverne's Prowler Max Grill Guard, and with Laverne and Kurt Group, we have Brian Farley. How are you doing, Brian? I'm well. How are you, Stephen? I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, so guys at home, I kind of want to address a few different things in this video. First is going to be how the product looks, kind of the styling aspects, then how it's made, talk about some of the strength of the product, how it's made, like the product that goes into it. We'll get into some of the installation aspects, how long it's going to take for the average Joe to install, and give them a timeline as well. First of all though, I kind of want to cover the brush guard aspects. For a brush guard, it's going to give you additional strength, great for any work truck. But what's going to make yours stand out? Tell us more about the styling of this, this product. Well, the way you can see here, we have a signature bad reveal. Mm -hmm. That is our trademark, so to speak. Right. Um, also, we do provide a wraparound feature and have 3 8 inch wire here to protect your headlights. Awesome. Looks great. Also looks very heavy duty. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of heavy duty, how is the product made? What kind of steel has gone, gone into this? Give this us is a two-inch tubular steel. Okay. This grill guard is rated for 16,500 pound pull test. Okay. Pull. Now, what about those winchers in mind? Is, it, is there any option here for the winchers? Do we mount the extra plate? How does that work? Yes, we do make an optional winch mount plate. Okay. It doesn't bolt up to this to add the pulling capability from the front. Good deal. And I do notice one thing that we uh, maybe didn't mention here is this. Is this a step that I can use to get in to yes, my sir. engine compartment? Yes, sir. That, that's a four inch diamond plate step. Awesome. To access the under hood compartment. And that's especially good for most lifted vehicles today, but also vehicles in general are just getting taller. So it's good to have an extra step to get up into that yes. uh, area when you're doing the work yourself. That's correct. With all that covered though, let's talk about the insulation just very briefly. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate this on the installation difficulty for the average Joe at home who's doing this install himself, but also what about a timeline? I would rate it at first seven. Okay. Um, I would not recommend doing it by yourself. Okay. Um, obviously it's a pretty hefty piece. <laughs> right. Um, and, and also you're gonna need some specialty tools such as a torque wrench. Okay. 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 Um, You'll, you'll definitely need that to do the complete the installation. Okay, so being a seven of 10, we do think you can do this on your own, but have a buddy on hand to make the install happen because this is heavy. You're gonna need an extra set of hands to get this up on the truck. With that said though, if you have any hesitations, questions, or problems doing this on your own, as always, look below the video. We're gonna have a dealer locator there so you can find a dealer in your area who's more than happy to make this installation happen for you. But it does sound like something you can do if you have a little bit of tools and manpower on hand. With that out of the way though, Brian, let's talk about some of the warranty that you offer on this product and any other finishes you have available. Uh, well, do, we do offer a limited lifetime warranty and we do offer an e-coat uh, powder coated black. Great. Also. Some good options there. Yes. Okay guys, let's say a wrap on Laverne's Prowler Max Grill Guard. But before we go, Brian, thank you for coming today. You're welcome. It's been a great pleasure. Bye guys at home. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments below. We're happy to address those for you there. If you just want more details about the product, check in the description below the video. We'll have a part number there as well as that dealer locator so you can find this product at a dealer in your area to make a purchase or the installation happen. If you liked the video, leave us a like. If you love the video, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications anytime we release a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. This has been Performance Corner in the Garage.